Abstraction is all about making art that deviates from real life. It's the idea that we observe something from life or think about objects we know and recognize, but then choose to distort them in some fashion. Coloring books are a simple and easy example of abstraction. They often include images of people and animals, but they don't look realistic. They are instead made of simplified shapes. The most extreme form of abstraction is a kind of art called non-objective. This work has no visible connections to anything tangibly observable in our lives. Artists commonly recognized for this kind of work include Jackson Pollock and Piet Mondrian. Hi, my name is Carrie, and here on Artist Strong, I help artists build their skill and develop their unique artist voice. Today, we are talking about why abstract artists should care about drawing fundamentals when their work doesn't ever intend to look realistic. Improves your mindset. My first and most important reason I encourage artists of all genres to build their foundational drawing skills comes down to mindset. I want you to be fully confident in your abilities as an artist. In some conversations with different creatives, I've had some abstract artists admit to me they work in abstraction because they don't know if they're any good at realism and they're scared to try it. How different would your confidence be if you knew you could draw realistically, but instead chose to focus on your genre of abstraction? Pablo Picasso is a great example of this. He could draw beautifully and practiced doing it as a young child, but as he evolved and his art evolved, his work became increasingly abstract. We know he did this out of choice because we can see early work that demonstrates his skill. It creates an entirely different conversation around meaning and intent in his work. Create more confident compositions. Drawing Foundations includes studies and research on composition. If you're going to draw from observation a model, you need to be able to ensure the model that you're drawing not only fits on your sketchbook page, but fills the space in some kind of pleasing way. Constant observational work and activities like urban sketching, which is a contemporary version of on plain air, force you to look at how you arrange space using the elements of art. In abstract work, you use the same seven elements of art that realists use, but some develop greater focus or priority. For example, maybe shape, texture, or color. How do you use these elements to inform the composition of your artwork? Practicing composition work with drawing, or even doing thumbnail drawings or sketches that are value studies of your abstract painting ideas can provide a lot of insight into creating a successful final artwork. Drawing foundations improve all skill. When exploring different media, as well as different techniques, all of these practices inform the actual artwork you create. For example, I spent probably half a year focused entirely on mandala artwork. I made drawings, a coloring book, and even began embroidering them. That led me to think about the use of pattern, gold leaf, and embroidery that are now in my portraits. It's important and helpful to learn all the time, everything and anything we can. Our life experiences and all of the learning from different art trainings, books, tutorials, and lessons inform our current artist practice. So many artists I speak with yearn to develop a unique artist voice. There's no secret formula to do this. It's about exploration, learning everything you can, including foundational drawing, and then creating your own mishmash of techniques, materials, and ideas to make work that's uniquely yours. This post from Artist Strong is brought to you by the Artist Strong Studio, our community of patrons who believe and wish to support this community. You can become part of the Artist Strong Studio for a small monthly commitment as low as $1 a month. To learn more, visit www.patreon.com forward slash artist strong. A special thank you to my current patrons. I couldn't do this work without your support. Now it's your turn. Are you an abstract artist who resonates with this message? Do you have foundational drawing skills that have informed your current work? 
Or maybe you feel a lot of resistance to this topic. Why shouldn't someone practice drawing foundations? Let's keep this conversation going in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time here on Artist Strong.